I'm uh, Erwin Lamy. I'm a grandmaster from the Netherlands, and uh, I come here time to time to record some uh, some epic DVDs. <laughs> when did you learn to play chess, and who taught you? Uh, I learned uh, quite early. I was about uh, four, uh, because I have three older brothers, and when we were going out to play football or something, I was always a small uh, one. I, I, I could never compete with, with them. But uh, I quickly f discovered that with chess I could actually beat them. So that's how I initially, uh, yeah, that's how I got motivated. And did you have a chess trainer later? Uh, yeah, I worked with a few chess trainers in the Netherlands, but only at a later uh, age. I worked with Cor van Weijer, the famous Dutch uh, uh, coach, Herman Groot. Uh, uh, I'm surely missing some. Mikko Cissin, De uh, many, many uh, trainers uh, worked with. Yeah. And did you have a chess idol? Or do you have a chess idol? Well, um, I remember, uh, well, in Netherlands, I'm, I'm from the Netherlands, so obviously uh, Jan Timman was always the big, uh, is the big hero in our uh, uh, country. And I remember when I played him the first time, I felt really uh, nervous. It was a really big deal for, for me. So I guess he would most resemble an idol. Other than that, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really a fanboy kind of, uh, kind of guy, no. What are your achievements in chess? Achievements in chess. Well, uh, I uh, I once shared uh, second place in the European Championship, but I, I guess my biggest achievement was uh, uh, winning the Reykjavik Open last year in uh, in Iceland. Obviously, yeah, that was a big. That was uh, something I never expected to happen, but it it did. Yeah. Why is chess fun in your opinion? Why is chess fun? That's a good question. I never. I, people ask you sometimes, why do you play chess, or why? It's a difficult thing. I think sometimes when you're good at something, you just uh, you just continue with with it. Me, I I uh, I'm intrigued by many aspects of, of of the game. The end game, for example, I find very interesting. I find the opening work very interesting to discover new ideas, and it's an it's a game that you never fully understand. I many well, every day when because I, I I see chess more or less every day, and every day I get surprised by new ideas by new. Uh, uh, moves that, for example, the computer now nowadays suggests, and uh, you never stop learning uh, with uh, with chess. I think it's also a good activity for m many other reasons. It helps you with concentration and e everything. So uh, it's just a great uh, it's just a great game. Yeah, picking up on your last point about uh, uh, why chess is fun. What is so beneficial in learning chess? And maybe also especially for well, kids. Well, the thing is uh, th there is this whole uh, chess in schools movement and uh, they are focusing on things like like concentration, decision making. Uh, well, I think they have a very valid point because that, that, that's all uh, uh, coming back in, uh, in chess. So that would be the two, th two things that would first uh, uh, come to mind. One thing you haven't yet mentioned is that uh, while well, you also work as a second and what is your approach when you teach chess or when you se second for somebody? Well, I don't. I'm, I'm not a trainer per se. I don't really teach uh, 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 chess. Uh, and when I work, uh, I, I work for uh, for Anish Giri. Um, most of the viewers will probably know who uh, who he is. Um, and uh, basically, during tournaments, we just uh, try to outwit the opponents in the opening. That's basically what it's all about. So before the event, we will have training sessions. We will uh, prepare certain lines, certain openings. And uh, uh, during the, the event, always new questions pop up because, as I said, chess always surprises you in, in many ways. So always new opening questions come up, and uh, I try to fix it then on the spot so that Einish can... Uh, relax a bit more and, uh, and and arrive fresh for for the game. So I, uh, my responsibility is to uh, try to make sure that he arrives uh, um, to the game with uh, with a healthy opening uh, opening idea. And what can our viewers expect from your DVDs? Is there some something also uh, beneficial from your work with Anish on the DVDs, or do you? Well, of course, I'm uh, uh, not really at liberty to to give away uh, all the secrets. I hope uh, the viewers will uh, will uh, uh, understand that. Um, but uh, still, I mean, uh, working with top players, you get something from their approach. In the past, I worked with uh, with, with Toplov. Also, it was very very inspiring. And also with Anish, who is, um, by the way, e extremely uh, uh, creative in, in opening this process of opening work. He's really uh, feeling it very well. And uh, I think it helps me uh, as well, finding new ideas. Uh, so, yeah, I think you will see something back, maybe not directly, but more in indirectly. And last but not least, do you have a piece of advice for our readers and viewers to improve their chess? Um, 
Yeah, I think that every day to do a few tactics. That's basically, uh, I think Paul Gar said that chess is 99% tactics, and I think she's right. <laughs> so uh, as long as you don't uh, blunder anything in, in, in each game, uh, uh, results will improve dramatically uh, already. And of course, openings are important, middle game is important, end game is important. But first of all, try not to blunder anything in, uh, in the game. That already goes a long way towards uh, better results, I think. Okay, thank you very much, Erin. Pleasure.